just type in Julius Randall and I guess he listened to you when you said just kind of play loose and it'd be a little more aggressive out there tonight? Oh, yeah, it was phenomenal. I mean, it was just set, set the tone, and kept, kept us in the game early, all, almost all by himself. You know, as, um, you know that lineup in particular right now is like kind of struggling to find a great rhythm. Um, but he was decisive, he shot the ball well, created a ton of shots for, for his teammates, um, played with great physicality, he loved his defense too. But defensively, it seemed like your team in the third quarter kind of really started playing both sides of the ball really well. Is that when you did you think the defense? Yeah, I mean, we have to play deep, better defense. I mean, we were fouling a ton. They were shooting like 56% um, through a lot of the game. And it's just not, you know, that's, we got to be better. Better defense. Play, got, got to play without fouling. Um, you know, especially a team, team like this is very potent offensively. Last possession, Ant got to the rim. Yeah. And settle. Was that was that the plan going into that possession, or was it a product of maybe how little scrambled that possession got? Or what did you see? I mean, obviously we wanted to put the ball in his hands. Um, we were just asked Mike to read the double. Um, you know, he did a good job of getting it right back into Anthony's hands. Ant did a good job of playing off the catch and got downhill. Um, you know, it's really big for him to be able to put pressure on the rim in those situations. Um, so. I thought, uh, you know, it, it was, you know, certainly key. What do you attribute the rhythm that you guys found offensively in the second half compared to the other six quarters you, you've played? So yeah, I mean, listen, just, yeah, just getting off of it, you know, letting the ball do the work, um, you know, understanding concepts and, you know, as a, as a group, like what we're trying to do. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought Ant was great just making the right play and then, um, you know, uh, everybody was able to kind of chip in, and um, we got a, real, a lot of good looks as a result of it. Chris, is one of Julius's strengths that when things are not going well, you can kind of just go to him and he can create a bucket and just yeah. kind of keep stemming the tide until you can find something? Yeah, that's certainly definitely one of his strengths, but, you know, he got his buckets late too, you know, um, which, were, which were huge. Um, and, um, uh, you know, I think... Once we keep working on this thing, like, you know, him and Ann will form a good partnership and uh, hopefully it will be a lot of two-man game between those guys, too. And just what about what Nas gave you, especially in the yeah. second half, uh, like yeah. defensively, offensively? I mean, it was 13, 13 rebounds for him. It was it was huge. He battled well. I mean, it's, you know, it looks like the Nas of last year kind of keep, kept going. And, um and uh, he was in that lineup that really changed the game around, that 11-0 run to close the quarter. So, 53-point attempts, Chris. Yeah. Uh, talked about one of the, the three-point volume. How did, how, did that, how did that feel? I mean, I thought they all were pretty much in the flow. You know, I didn't think too many of them were, uh, were forced, so that was good. Um, we felt we could get a, a lot of them if we were making the right play out there. Guys were ready to shoot them, um, you know. And then you'd, uh, you talked about maybe the closing line having different closing groups that you kind of went to mm -hmm. a handful of like kind of different lineup combinations there in the last three minutes. Is, is that kind of how you envision that play now? Yes. I mean, I would, yeah, 100%. It's, I just, you know, I told the guys, like, you know, the intention is here to be until we find something that's, you know, kind of automatic all the time, but we have a deep and flexible team. We want to try to give ourselves as much chance to kind of play situationally. Uh, and, you know, guys are just going to have to lean into that. Um, and uh, the, every night it could be different, and every night I'm not going to get it right. So, um, so yeah, so we're all going to have to figure it out together. Coach Finch, I uh, just want to get your comments and thoughts about uh, when Keegan Murray played today. Uh, he was fighting for those rebounds. He was fighting to sponsors. his yeah. bonus for those rebounds. Uh, yeah, I mean, just he's a guy that just gets better and better all the time. You know, he's, he's one of those feared shooters in the league when the ball – Leaves his hand, you just feel like it's going to always go in, and when it doesn't, you breathe that sigh of relief. Um, you know, battles defensively. Uh, he's a really, really, really good young player. Yeah, honestly, I mean, it's huge. It just feels like it's going to be just another night in the Western Conference. You know, it's, it's, you just look around. Every team is so good, uh, so capable. Um, but the biggest thing, you know, win or lose tonight, I just really liked our competitive spirit was back. Um, 
and you know we we did a lot of things that were more indicative of who we are than we did uh, the other night.